While deaths from COVID-19 hit record levels across the U.S., Donald Trump is staying out of the public eye. But as we take a look live at the White House this morning, we can tell you that Trump appears to be carrying out more political payback in the aftermath of the presidential election. Trump is firing the top election security official who publicly contradicted his claims of election fraud, doing it less than a week after Christopher Krebs reported the vote was the most secure in U.S. history. Our senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe, is here with the story. Lindsay, good morning, and let's talk about what we know about why Krebs is now out of a job. Well, it is all laid out in the president's tweet announcing Krebs' dismissal. This is how Donald Trump fired uh, the head of this agency, as he has fired so many people before. Krebs had been one of several Homeland Security officials who put out a statement last week saying that the 2020 election was the most secure in the nation's history. And in Donald Trump's firing tweet, he said that that statement was highly inaccurate and then he went on to claim again falsely that there were massive improprieties and fraud in the 2020 election. Now, one of the things that Krebs did as head of this agency, which was set up in 2016 after it became apparent how much influence the Russians had in the 2016 election, is he set up this website which was designed to control rumors. It was co called Rumor control and in the aftermath of the election the misinformation that that website was countering directly wasn't coming from any foreign countries it was coming from inside the White House so it was countering the claims that the president was making in real time so as he refuses to concede the election Donald Trump has decided to terminate in his words the official responsible for that website all right, he's made the move though. What's the reaction? Well, Democrats are calling it shameful. Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, said the president's insistence on distracting and dividing the country by denying his defeat in the election undermines our democracy. We are hearing from members of Donald Trump's own party. Republicans are speaking out in support of Krebs, including Richard Burr, Burr who calls Krebs a dedicated public servant who has done a remarkable job in a challenging time. And Krebs himself has also uh, tweeted. He said, honored to serve. We did it right. Defend today, secure tomorrow. And of course, this is not the first high profile firing since the election. Last week, Donald Trump fired his defense secretary. Uh, then there are also rumors that there are more firings to come, including potentially the FBI director and the head of the CIA, John. Thanks for this, Lindsay. Lindsay Duncombe, our senior Washington editor.